What's good, friends and family? Oh, uh, man, I got so many videos to get to you guys. But as you know, life gets in the way. I've got businesses. I've got life. Uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, my health. I've, I've been a little sick recently. Personal stomach issues, but I'm dealing with it. Uh, first off, this video is Will Sasua End. Last video I'm making about the strip because honestly, I'm tired. I'm aggravated about it. All the rumors, all the nonsense. We're going to get to that in a second. First, allow me to shout out my Aunt Charlotte. I love her to death. About to hit 104 years old. How you doing, Charlotte? Uh, my mom's. Uh, shout out to my sister. My little sis opened her dance studio in Atlanta, Showcase. You know, we're young entrepreneurs in the family, so shout out to her um, in Atlanta doing her thing. Very proud. Um, I got the video of Punta Cana coming up in the resort. I was with my daughter uh, before she started high school. And uh, actually, I had a good time. Nice resort in Punta Cana. That video's coming up soon. Um, I do want to say this before we get into the video. There's two trolls, two idiots that keep going on on all the online and all my all my comments and and it's funny when I read the comments. You guys have a lot of theories, all are wrong, but it is whatever. In my comments, they keep saying, "Why listen to him? He has business down here. He has something to gain." Let me explain something to you one time. If I'm lying and you come down here and you have a bad time, I look like a liar, right? If the town goes to this Disney World theme you guys keep rumoring about it's going to go to, I'm going to be rich. So wouldn't I want it to go that route? I mean, I, I just, I, I'd see beyond things. I'm always analyzing things, which is why I don't fall for the nonsense. I don't listen to rumors and rhetoric and propaganda because I think outside the box and I look deeper into why someone said something, why someone does something. I'm giving you guys facts. I don't have to be outside on the strip. I'm actually outside on the strip. I don't have to be in the club. I'm actually in the club. I keep seeing videos and people trying to ride the wave. Got some guy who can't even come to this town telling you the town's over. Uh, somebody walking around on a Tuesday at 6 p.m. telling you it's dead. I don't need to ride no waves. You get facts from me. You can listen to whoever the hell you want to listen to. I don't care. Here's the thing the difference between me and everyone else. I'm not going to stop breathing if you don't like me. This is, this is the, the good part about being me. Flip, flop, Greg, VP, whatever you want to call me. This is the good part about being me. I live my life for me. I worry about me. I take care of me. All I'm doing is bringing you news and, and real talk and facts so you can stop the rumors. Because before I get into this video, which I'm about to start right now, I will tell you this. And I said it online on, a, on one of these sites. You guys are killing Sasua. The rumors are killing Sasua. Because the reality is, everyone who's not here has an opinion and a story. But the people who are here are having a great time. I don't know. But when I hear the rumors and then I have two guys call me and say they canceled their flight because they heard... Because the I Heard universe works in mysterious ways. And I'm like, but that's not factual. Everybody heard something. So let's get into the facts. Will Sasua end? Now here's the thing. If you're basing your trip and your vacation on Classicos, there's a little bit more of a problem than Sasua. You've got to look into yourself. Classicos has closed a few times. I... It closed for one day the other day, right back open. I said a week, maybe two weeks, it closed. Someone said, oh, you're guessing. No, I'm not guessing. I speak to businessmen. I actually know what's going on, but I'm not here to report to you about politics because I don't do politics. This is all political. I don't get involved in this crap. I'm in my little corner doing my own thing. I have nothing to do with the strip, but I'm giving you info on it because you guys keep asking me about it. So this is the final video I make. Believe me, don't believe me, cancel your trip, book your trip, A. Hey, I've got things to do. So this is the last video on this. The Strip, all right, let, let's do a history check. 15 years ago before I got here, the Strip was down past Europa. That was where the Strip was. The biggest club is where that Chinese store is, the, the yellow building. That was the biggest club in Sasua. Classicals didn't exist, Rumbas didn't exist. I don't believe Flo existed at that time. I was coming here about 11 and a half, 12 years now. 
when I came, that the strip is where it's at now. Okay, as I said in many videos, we had its ups and downs. Classico closed for three days eight years ago. Mofos went crazy. Sasua is what you make it. I'm gonna say it for the millionth time, and DR is what you make it. Sasua will never end because if whether it moves or stays, it's still gonna be there. Everything you guys like is still going to be there. The beach is still going to be there. Everything's going to be the same. So the reality is, it's not. Now let me give you guys facts. So we can stop the rumors. Facts. Okay? Welcome to Blifo! <laughs> Alright. Facts. The mayor once classical clothes. The strip is fine. All the rumors you're hearing, it was nonsense. It's all rumors. And as I said, I'm going to say it for the last time. The business owners in City Hall do not talk to the streets. So here's another fact. None of those people you're listening to, none of your reliable sources, no shit. Part of my French. I got to put a dollar in the curse jar right now. They don't know nothing. My frustration comes because you guys will take a rumor and run with it. My frustration comes because rumors and only rumors are what's controlling everything. Let's get back to facts. The mayor wants classical clothes for eight years. This is a political thing. As I said, I don't get in politics. I don't care about Trump. I don't care about nobody. I'm not into politics. What I'm into is making my life a better life, M making sure I enjoy my life. My kids are fine. That's what I'm into. Um, eight years now. She's been trying to close Classico, change the strip over, move it down a little bit, whatever the case may be. Eight years. Every year you guys go, this is the year. This is the year. The sky is falling. Blah, blah. Come on. Some of us just live for these guys. I don't like gossip. I don't like rumors. So it, it bothers me because I'm like, what type of grown motherfucker sit there and gossips all day? It's just the weirdest thing to me. Facts. If Classico closes for good and the party scene moves... Sasu is still going. It's just the party scene will move. If that happens. Has it happened in eight years? Will it happen? In my opinion, no. In two prominent people's opinions, yes. And I, when I say prominent, these are two people I respect that know a lot about the town, that have a lot of inside info, as I have. And when we had a conversation, the two of them said, they think eventually. But in my mind, I told them, after eight years it ain't happened, why would you think now? They just feel it's coming to that point. Optimism. It is what it is. But it's still going to be the same. Sasua is not going to die. It will never die. It will never be Boca Chica. It just won't. This is a different type of town. And th no, there are not five-star hotels coming here. Go read behind the scenes on who released that pro propaganda. Since when has the Marriott allowed a news story to be released and they didn't go and, and mention their own news story? What, since when? Someone took that story from Porta Plata and added Sasua into it. A lot of these news sources are going with rumors as well, and you guys are just reposting it, reposting it, sending it out, sharing it, but you won't share the facts. I bet the facts don't go viral. I bet that. So, you know, like I said, if the strip happens to move after eight years, finally it does, or not the strip because the, 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 the rest, room book, Bourbon Street, they're all good. They're, they're good to go. It's just, uh, you know, the, the beef with Classico, which has been a long-standing thing. There's been beef between um, the mayor and a certain person from Classico. You know, it is what it is. That, that's a long-standing thing, a personal thing between them. Politics, I don't get involved in that. I'm just trying to move wings and tacos, you know. Um, so, it, it really doesn't affect your trip. I mean, and I'm going to say it again, honestly, so you guys really clearly understand me. The mayor's not messing up the town. The police aren't messing up the town. The rumors are messing up the town. People saying, oh, the police are arresting America. I heard a voice on one day. Police are arresting Americans, man. But I'm like, what the hell are you guys talking about? Oh, man, this is going on. I'm going to put a video on the end of this. I'm in Classicos, and I get a message told that Classicos is closed. I mean, if you're not here... Yeah, people say it's slow. It's been slow. I mean, it is what it is. A lot of guys are canceling because of the rumors, so it's getting even slower. High season's picking back up. Things get back to normal. Halloween's coming. Things are, things are slowly getting back to normal, and especially Thursday to Sunday. But things are getting back to normal. But the rumors are why things are slow. 
You got guys just, oh, I'm, I'm not going, uh, blah, blah, blah. Rumors, gossip. But when people that get here, they go, I'm enjoying myself. So I know I can't be bugging. But either way, these are the facts. Sasua will not end. It will not end. If the strip moves, if the strip moves, because so far in eight years, it has not. Eight years since these rumors started, since this nonsense started, it has not. If the ninth year it finally moves, F it, it moved. Okay. We just move a couple yards down. It's the same old crap. I think you guys get too caught up in one club, in, in one bar. And I mean, look, things are still going the way they're going. Things are not going to change. You can still come down and have a good time. If you, let me make this clear for the, for the, for the idiots that want to sit there and say, he has a business. If the strip closes tomorrow, I'm going to be okay. If they kick all the gringos out of the Dominican Republic tomorrow, I'm going to be okay. So, book your flight, cancel your flight, do whatever the hell you want to do. But I'm giving you facts. I'm in this country. I'm on the ground. I'm right here. If you come down, you see me, you're going to bump into me. You're gonna, I'm going to shout you out. You're going to shout me out, whatever the case may be. And you're going to have a good time. Plain and simple. Stop making rocket science out of it. Stop sitting here trying, oh, they're doing this. Oh, well, you know what? Um, the alien came down from Mars and said that he wants to go in DR, so no more strip. They want to change the strip for the aliens. What the hell are y'all talking about? Anyway, now seriously, I've been hearing all types of rumors and theories, and it's really not that deep. It's not that deep at all. Strip is fine. When it closes, that's been, when it closes for good, I'll make the next video about Sasua. Until then, listen to all those people that make all these videos and uh, um, clout chasing and wave chasing and trying to get likes and views, you know what I'm saying? Do, do that. I ain't got time for it. My next video is going to be DR Horror Stories, a story I've been wanting to tell you guys for a minute about something that happened to me personal and how I built myself up. Um, that'll be my next video. And the, and the, uh, and the uh, I'm sorry, the business video, the last part I'm meaning to put out, I'm sorry, and the uh, resort video with my daughter. All right, so you guys enjoy. I appreciate all 5,185 subscribers of mine. I love you guys. I'm glad you stay tuned. For those that believe me, come on, you know you you guys know me. I'm not going to BS you. If things are bad, I'm going to tell you things are bad. If things are good, I'm going to tell you they're good. Right now, things are good. I was just outside last night with the fellas. I went home early because I was tired. Everything's fine. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, when Class Coast finally does close, I will give you the heads up. Right now, it's back open. Everything's normal. Come down and enjoy or don't come down. Keep spreading rumors and gossip. Whatever, you, whatever floats your boat. Mr. Flip Flop, I love you guys. I'm out.